Well, afternoon, everybody. Sion here. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick video for um, our weekly raid review. I know it's been a couple of weeks, but it's because we've been progressing, bringing in new members. Everybody kind of knows what we're doing, so I didn't really feel like there was a, any necessity to put anything together until today. Um, so this video is going to focus on three major points. One, just a review again of how to look at logs and a couple of new items that I've recently discovered. Um, to look for when you're going through logs not only your own but others so that way you can assimilate what they're doing and how they're doing it uh, second point is going to be the strategy and how we're going to apply ourselves in to get the black hand heroic kill and then what we're looking for is for 6.2 forward okay so starting with the topic one as far as logs remember you go to the warcraftlogs.com you click on realms come to United States Blackrock Foundry, you pick either one, just a preference of what you want to do. That's going to give you additional tabs by holding down the control key or you can just flip right to it by clicking on it. So these are all the different servers, so like say for example there's a specific server that you want to look on, you know, or a specific realm or a specific player guild or whatnot that you want to look for a player, you'll be able to do so by typing in this section here and going from there. The other button that I ended up pushing was rankings 4. Um, so say for example that you want to look at what we're trying to do via something that's comparable right to our output and, and whatnot. Um, you want to make sure that you set it up on the necessary bar settings across here so you know put it on heroic. US EU, got to be careful some of the EU links when you click on them naturally will be in the native language so it could be in for example Eastern European Slavic, it could be in Spanish, it could be in French etc. So you just got to kind of look at you know what you're clicking on and adjust from there. And then you could specifically choose which class you want to look at so what we're going to do is we're going to do Paladin, we're going to do Holy because I'd like to see how I can improve for example my healing on Black Hand and then my relative item level which is now 688. Now you'll pick the boss that you want to go for. So you come to here and you can do guild speed, execution, player damage, healing, etc. And all this stuff is relevant and we're going to come back to this part here in just a little bit but I want to show you healing. So you click on player healing then you select the boss. And that's going to bring up this data here. Now you got 70 HPS for example from a 688 you know in a group of 13 alright. But I say scroll down here and look at it, for example there's about 6,000 posts I would guess it would be 35 times 200 so whatever that equals out to um, so what, what I like to do is click you know a couple of pages in get a more realistic number that I'd be looking for so like 40 you know 7k for example at 1600 that's a relative one to shoot for have I come remotely close to that no not yet so I'm like okay well if that's the case let's go ahead and we'll just pick the first one so we got Bubby Sai right here 690 a little bit higher than I am but through and through we get to see their overall performance as far as how much they're healing for and and how they're doing it right so once you click on the healing you can click on the individual and that'll show everything that they do and it, it highlights them right here so that way you know exactly you know who you're looking at at the time and then you can see what they're doing as far as total casts and how they're going about you know uh, their rotation and then another thing that you can do is cast and that'll give you the exact number and that's at the top right here and that gives you the exact number for example they casted holy shock 64 times so they were really on it they were really quick about it eternal flames when they propped um, holy prisms when they could uh, clearly they were hitting black hand with it every single time to make sure that they got the multi-target a hit um, they have their four set bonus so light of dawn was popping consistently uh, really solid rotation. Lots of Holy Radiance use. I wasn't using mine as well. I was focusing really on using LOD consistently. I need to make sure I step that up and use that more frequently. And then another one that you can take a look at too when you're analyzing performance is the overall buff. Like at what times did they do certain things whether they be their passive for example or um, enchants etc. Active abilities so that way you can see when things are kind of proccing and how they're using it in, in the way that they're applying it on a consistent basis. Now the next part that I wanted to show also that so that way you can get an idea of what's going on, you can come over here to this section here. Now you can do this for any single replay. So you want to see, for example, if Method or, or Midwinter or Paragon or any of them have entered in 
their replays is or their data you're able to click on this and able to see how they went about doing the attack so you click on replay and what this is going to do is it's going to give you the replay feature bring it back a little so now here at the bottom you have your play button and then you have players pets bosses npcs speed uh, raid markers if they're present meters haven't and event logs haven't been tied in yet in the video they'd have to upload and, and sync a video to their logs for you to be able to view it but relatively um, the big ones that you want to do when I first watch a fight I turn all of it off right and then I select just bosses or bosses and NPCs for example like since um, there's no real NPC to follow on bl on Blackhand other than the tank during the second part you 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 want it active but there's some fights for example like Gruel there is no NPCs so you really don't need to have it active but you click the two of them and anytime that I'm watching a replay this is the first thing that I do I select both of those and then I hit play and what you'll see now is just black cam pop up and then you see where they pick them up and what you get is a five six minute view of just what the boss is doing right there's nothing else to obscure what you're focusing on so it allows you to be able to get a good idea of like okay well where are the tanks tanking them you know and why what position and movement are they are they looking for um, if you look here see like these little dots these lines you can turn these on and what it, this shows is when an NPC dies so for example like at these parts right here this is when they started killing in the balconies right this highlight here is when they used hero so what you do is you can just kind of see what's going on and then say for example you're like well where is everybody standing bada boom there you go and that's what phase one looks like for example then when you get to the 70 percent you'll know what everybody kinda looks like during the next phase and you can make adjustments there to how they're moving now we talked about last night how we wanted to improve uh... our i guess uh, our movement our like our plan during phase two because we clearly didn't have any kind of concept that we were really doing there we were just kinda like you know surviving and trying to work within the mechanics and we were getting to forty percent even thirty nine percent but we weren't making that you know that next step that we need to do okay so this is everybody falling down And you're just going to kind of see how they went about their movement. And you can also select, you know, specifically if you want to, you can turn, you know, certain ones on and off. So, like, if you just want to see the tanks doing movement, or you just want to see range and see how they're applying it, or, for example, um, you want to see what the healers are doing and where they're doing it, you can do that too. You just have to select, you know, who you're looking for. Like, for example, um, you know, the, the healer that we're looking at is Bubsy. If I wanted to just look at what Bubsy's doing and where they're moving, you know, you could do that. Or, you know, once you know where they're at, you could just kind of do that, you know, and you know where they're at the whole time you pay attention to it so this is how they're approaching it as you can see um, they're still using the circular format we're talking about doing pretty much the same thing we were just gonna put down like four flags real quick keep the center flag um, you can see that uh, the mines for example um, aren't being shown right now but you can you can find ways to turn for example markers and things like that on but what they're doing is they're clearly moving nice and slow around the perimeter keeping the same circle dealing with the tank as it comes along like there's the tank right there the siege maker these are the mines the slag bombs so see how they're intentionally putting them in a specific area so that way everything is just kind of following everybody's hanging out in the middle keeping it cool um, I don't necessarily you can't really tell for example how they're doing with the um, the triple throw attack but you know I mean that's not something that's difficult to figure out you can we can figure out ways to adjust on that and we will and uh, that's really what I wanted to show through and through. Um, you can also click on the problems tab if you'd like, and that'll also show you, for example, any issues they had or that we're having when you're reviewing your own logs. Now, moving on to the second point. The second point was to how we're going to get that heroic kill. So this week is going to be the last week that we're going to do any kind of clearing of the foundry. Once we get to Black Hand this week, then it's going to be nothing but heroic black hand so you know you got to make sure you're showing up tonight for tuesday's raid to make you know to maximize the total gear output wednesday too and then um we're probably going to add another day next week where we're going to put it on to thursday so next week's going to be big make sure you're getting good sleep and everything else because we're going to do sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday uh and then sunday monday tuesday wednesday again so it's going to be a lot but i think it's going to put us in right under the radar as far as when the release is supposedly supposed to come out which is projected in 10 days or so nine days from now so we'll just kind of have to see how it is but we want to get that kill so we can get ahead of the curve 
make sure tonight also that you know you have 125 food just buy a bunch of it I'm talking like over a hundred okay um, potions the same so that we can double up potion um, augmented uh, runes have gone down in price to like 20 gold a pop so you know just buy some of those and if you need you know if you need help with that just let me know and we'll focus on you know what we need to do um, and now for the last point which was uh, talking about 6.2 and how we're gonna go forward with that in 6.2 um, we need to make sure that we're ready to hit the ground running we're gonna do normal as soon as it becomes available and then as soon as we clear all the bosses that we can in normal as far as how they're gonna scale it and what they're gonna make available or whatnot as soon as we're done with normal then we're gonna go into heroic and we're gonna kinda do like a normal heroic work through but what I'd like to do is keep our consistency of attendance above like I know I say 75 percent but really you know let's try to shoot for as high as we can get you know like 75 percent is like an obligation I 100 percent is the obligation we need to try and hit that high number as consistently as we can of attendance Alec pointed out for example last week or the last couple of weeks we've had like 13 or 14 members total have 100 percent attendance and that's and that's when we've made some of the greatest strides to be honest if the same people are showing up and they're prepared and they're ready to go through the content it's going to put us in a position to succeed okay um and that's it if you have any questions or whatnot just let me know hit me up as soon as possible in game or out of game uh via facebook via website etc and uh see you guys tonight for the raid okay have a blessed day